Uh, we have um, educational outreach programs. Uh, we sort of have two of them. Um, one is general education, which is mainly, um, you know, uh, um, you know, praising the history of jazz, uh, you know, showing people how to play instruments and um, giving them a sort of an educational background, um, uh, edu uh, music educational background, um, you know, showing them notes, uh, how to count the four, um, you know, just sort of the fundamentals of music, uh, basic. Um, and we have another side, which is more focused towards the well-being of uh, the students, uh, meaning we tell them how music uh, helps them emotionally or can help them out with a, a, a problem they might be having. So it goes a lot deeper into, uh, you know, the, the mental side and uh, gets into the areas that, um, you know, that really affect us and that might be giving us problems as, you know, as a human. And so... The, the, these two sides of uh, outreaches, uh, we we you know it's it's really been a blessing to to see these work. Um, I remember in we did a, a small tour in Alaska, and there we were um, you know teaching high school students um, how to count and how to play uh, you know certain uh, uh, pieces of music and giving them a, you know providing a master class. And then it changed. And then we went to a detention center and, um, you know, and we talked about how, you know, uh, you know, music can be medicine and music is a, is a healing source. Um, and, and it's something that, um, you know, you can get mad at music and, you know, it won't get mad back at you. <laughs> you know, it's a sort of an outlet. And so we, we've uh, performed all these uh, different types. Uh, we've been to women's shelters, um, like I said, uh, uh, juvenile detention centers, um, jails, you know, and also um, – your local, you know, classroom, uh, K through 12 or, uh, even university, uh, level classes. And so they have been, I believe the educational side of Didat has been the hugest, uh, or not the, the biggest, um, you know, um, uh, f fulfillment for me. Um, and, and I, and I know a few other of the band members would, would say the same thing. You know, it, it's so, uh, surreal seeing, um, you know, the connections that um, all of us make to the student when we're when we're teaching, especially um, the educational side that helps the well-being of, of people. And, you know, right now, um, the way we handle our educational uh, programs is we've developed a series of educational videos, um, meaning that they're already pre-recorded. Um, some of them talk just uh, like I was saying earlier about maybe jazz history. Uh, some talk about our music, uh, how we compose it, the process. Um, some are introductions to instruments, um, instruments that we play um, as Didat. And, um, you know, we, we have these videos set aside, but we also do live, uh, live video as well, either through YouTube or Zoom. And, um, you know, we, we have a great uh, media team, um, a film production team that, uh, that gives us sort of a multi-angled um, cameras and very nice sound. So uh, we're, uh, if, if need be, you know, we, we can do live stream as well, live stream or pre-recorded video. And, um, you know, right now we've been just creating, um, you know, content, pre-recorded content. Uh, I believe mo everyone uh, mostly, uh, uh, you know, they choose the pre-recorded just because in case, you know, something happens live, you know, like a, I, I don't know, a, a bad signal or something. Um, but we've, we've done both and uh, all of our projects uh, are also um, in that format. Uh, you can get our projects pre-recorded or get our project live. 
um, or in person if the <laughs> if where they are you know they if they allow it and depending on their uh, their max capacity uh, but we've been doing uh, very well um, Didat has uh, you know uh, one of the quotes uh, that we received from NPR says uh, that we were out of the box and um, you know sort of um, a lead in creativity and you know every every now every week or, or every uh i would say every other two weeks or so uh, we get together and we have a creative meeting where we start um to see what's next for didat well uh, you know what what should we start working on and you know um <laughs> our, our last meeting we we realized that uh with some of the poetry and um the poetry the the artwork the sculptures uh, you know it was a it's a project that kind of puts all of uh, the arts together and senses and so we didn't have anything for the sense of smell so we started uh, thinking to um, you know maybe we should uh, have some fragrances so now we're looking into um, actually having fragrances uh, fragrances for our, our show um, to you know to have a specific um, to really create that um, to really uh, create the the feeling and have have them uh, um, you know put it in their memory our audience so you know we're, there, there's just so many uh, really cool things that uh, we have been talking about uh, we do have a new album coming out called uh, Born in an Odd Time and uh, that album is also a musical and uh, the musical is called Matani, and uh, you know that that will be released uh, either uh, later, uh, sort of mid of next year, 2021, or uh, the very end of the year. Um, so there, there, like I said, there are so many really cool things that uh, we've been doing, and um, that we're just really, really waiting. Uh, you know. I, I believe when the pandemic uh, closes or shuts down or gets a little better, uh, you know, I, I think the dad is going to be a very busy group and we're going to uh, come out with a, a huge bang. <laughs> so again, thank you for listening. I'm Delbert Anderson. Um, I just wanted to introduce the guys. I know they're not here, but uh, shout out to uh, Defy, our, our, our lead man, uh, Defy, a.k.a. Uh, Christopher Mike Vita, <laughs> um, Nicholas Lucero, our drummer, Mike McLuhan, our bassist, and I'm Delbert Anderson, and I play trumpet for Didat. Thank you. <laughs>